What is up everyone? It's Demolition and Derby for Life. I'm here gonna do a new car build, guys. Uh, I guess you can't really say it's new new. Uh, this car was a race car last year, about this time. And you know what? Uh, it's been sitting for about a year now and haven't really done anything with it. Um, just kind of been sitting on it, sitting on it and uh, this coming weekend is Minnesota Throwdown, guys. And I, I don't really have much for cars. I got this van, but it would be very hard to pass, I think, for tech, for Throwdown. So I think I'm just going to sit on that and run it at a different show that's coming up at the end of October here. And then I have the, uh, I have the uh, girls' powder puff car, but I think that one we're going to just wait for next year uh we're just gonna sit and wait for that one or hold that one until next year so um so those are the only two pre-runs that i got and then i had this race car i thought about keeping it as a race car but it's got bad head gaskets and the brakes are completely garbage so i just been thinking on it thinking on it and he's like you know what they have the MWFA street stock class. And I thought about it and it's like, you know what? Let's build this thing for that. It's super simple. There's very, very minimal stuff you have to do. So you guys are ready to see what I'm building? I'm building a 2006 Pontiac Grand, Grand Prix or Grand Grand, some, Grand Prix, whatever. And we're going to see how this thing does in the bone stock class. It's got all the aluminum. Uh, it's got aluminum spindles and aluminum sub. So I want to see how this thing holds up in a complete bone stock class. I've seen a few of them run. I've seen the like the Monte Carlos run and stuff like that that has the aluminum. They don't fare really well. And I've been just kind of debating on what I want to do with this and I really don't want to hold this for another another year basically so I'm building it for this bone stock class there is but like there's basically nothing you can do to this you can have uh, I believe six tie down spots per door and you can have six for the hood six for the trunk for tying shut you have to run both uh street sock tires and remove all glass and plastic you can only have a back seat bar and a driver's door bar uh, this is my back seat bar and then i'm going to mount my gas tank right in here um, you are allowed to run the factory gas tank if it's in front of the axle if it's behind it, you have to move it. But if it's in front, you can leave it. I'm going to move it just because that's just one less thing that can go wrong. And um, frankly, I don't really like gas tanks underneath. I'd prefer to have, I know it sounds weird, but have it n near me. And yes, it will be a smaller tank, but that's realistically no big deal. And realistically, that's all you can do. There is like not much you can do to this in this class you can't notch can't pre-bend can't if you i mean i guess if you remove your deck lid uh but you lose your nine wire and i just kind of was like you know what there's not much of a deck lid let's just leave it on um it's just gonna make the back stiff which i kind of want and yeah that's pretty much it that's there's not much you can do um I will be running my fuel lines probably around that inside of the seat and then up in through there. But I'm just going to do, basically I got four for the hood, four for the trunk. Um, I could do six, but realistically, I'm just going to just leave it as it is. And you have to run factory bumpers. You cannot change them out. You can't shorten, you can't do any of that. So basically... Yeah, so we're going to be running this. 
I know they're complete junk, so they don't hold up very well. They'll V right in the middle, which yeah, honestly isn't such a bad thing, but yeah, we're running the stock, uh, I think it's the 3.8. So yeah, and this thing's got bad head gaskets, so we're just going to send it. We're going to have some fun, going to make some junk. I'm hoping to kill this thing off. So I don't have to have this thing sit over another another winter. And don't worry, guys. This thing is going to get painted up something. It's going to get painted. Give it a little flashy colors. But, yeah, there you go, guys. There is the uh, newest and last build of 2023. Uh, this was a very spur-of-the-moment build. I... Honestly, didn't even think about building it until I started looking at the rules and then I didn't really want to have to cut much off of this thing as bad as it is. I didn't really want to have to cut it, cut too much apart and it'll basically give me more time to actually work on it and whatever. But And for this thing, I've got, I finished stripping it which took a couple hours and then what else did I do and then I basically just started tying everything shut I did have to if you guys remember during the race uh this lower control arm spindle and cv shaft completely disintegrated uh, the lower control arm it actually bent downwards at the like behind the ball joint so it's the ball joint and then there's like a the chunk of metal and it bent down so I had to replace that spindle sheared in half since it's aluminum happens. So I'm going to be very protected of this front, trying to keep it from getting uh, destroyed. So yeah. And then once all that went, the CV shaft pulled out and just broke. So I basically replaced or replaced all that. And now we're going to see if we can prevent it from getting destroyed. So yeah, so a lot of that stuff has been changed out. But I finally got this thing back on four wheels. I'm happy to see it back on four wheels. It's been sitting pretty limp for a long time. So we're just going to have some fun. Uh, this is um, a very... It's basically they're going for a world record. So if you guys... I'm going to post this thing up. Try to get it posted up tonight, I think. And uh, so today would be Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday. So if you guys want to enter into that class, it doesn't take much. And you guys could be a part of the world record if we can get it. Um, I'd have to, I don't know exactly what the world record is, but let's try to bring it to Minnesota, guys. So if you guys have something laying around that runs and drives, knock out the windows. You don't even have to put a cage in. It's not required. It's just if you want to, which that's what I do. But I realistically have a day in this thing, not even. I've just been putzing on it throughout the week. And I started this thing on huh, Monday, or no, Sunday. So there you go, guys. There's a quick little look at what I'm bringing to Minnesota Throwdown. Thank you guys for the support of this channel. Uh, if you guys got something laying out in the wheel, weeds, build it up quick and bring it down to Minnesota Throwdown. But thank you guys so much. We'll catch you guys all in the next video.